One city council member says his mind's already made up. He'll be voting to confirm Worley as Baltimore's next police commissioner. But two others tell the I team they're not quite so sure yet, calling the meeting going on right now a test for Worley. Well, I remember um, now acting Commissioner Worley when he started as a uh, officer. Baltimore City Council Vice President Sharon Middleton says she knows BPD acting Commissioner Richard Worley well, watching him move up over his more than two decades in the department. She calls him a Baltimore success story. He is planning to meet with um, each council person individually. And I think he's already started that process. Uh, we have something scheduled. The I-team confirmed on Thursday that Worley was offered the top job less than 10 hours before he was named acting commissioner on June 8th, with Worley never interviewing for the position. Middleton says despite her history with Worley, her mind is far from made up. And if you were to vote today, would you vote to approve him as commissioner? Uh, I still want to have some conversation and answer, uh, get him to answer some, some questions. As Worley appears before the Public Safety Committee on Thursday afternoon to discuss the Brooklyn Homes mass shooting, Middleton says shootings are on her mind too. We're going through um, some troubling times with our gun violence and um, I, I do want to interview him personally. But not everyone needs that one-on-one -on -one meeting. A spokesperson for Councilman Isaac Yitzi Schleifer says the councilman gives his full support to Commissioner Worley's nomination and will be voting for him. Eleven city council members did not respond to the I-team's questions about whether they would vote to confirm Worley. After Councilman Mark Conway told WBAL Radio that the mass shooting is a critical test for Worley, the I-team asked if that means his confirmation process is in jeopardy. I can't say that necessarily. I will say um, this is a test not just for Commissioner Worley, but for all of us, including myself. I want to make sure that we do our job, do it well, and we are thorough in our response to the shooting. Asked directly if you would vote to approve Worley, Conway says, We'll assess when we have that opportunity. So we now know city council members are meeting one-on-one -on -one with Worley before his confirmation process moves forward, and we know at least a few members are still undecided about him. Worley is expected to provide the most detail that we've had so far about the mass shooting and the BPD's response in today's meeting. For the 11 News I-Team, I'm Tolly Taylor. Tolly, thank you. Also take a look back at BPD leadership across six mayoral administrations. See the interactive timeline in the WBAL-TV app.